Good morning. It is Jeremiah's birthday today. He's four years old and he has been so excited about turning four. So yesterday was Memorial Day and we celebrated with a big um, family party where extended family came. It was a wonderful day and I am going to tell you about that because it was just really cool what we ended up acquiring yesterday. But right now Jeremiah is so excited because we saved some of his birthday presents from us to get today for our tradition of birthday presents before breakfast. So that's what we're getting ready to do right now. People have slowly been waking up from the partying yesterday and they... <laughs> Except Silas was up really early. You have to ask me, buddy. Are you ready to open presents? Okay, here, look. This is done. So I have to tell you guys, if you have kids that just want lots of Lego guys, it's really hard to get a lot of Lego guys, but there is a, get everybody here until everybody come to the table. There is a, a okay, help me, okay, I have a complete thought here. On Amazon, they're not Lego brand, but they have been great for my kids. And we put this on Jeremiah's wish list and one of the grandparents got it for him. You can get a whole bag. I think it's 20, 20 guys. Yeah, it's really good deal. It's a really great it's deal. It's like $15 for And this is what they look like. So they're snapped together. They hold together. They look like the Lego people, even though they're not the brand. For everything else, we always stick with the Lego brand because we've had some disappointments. But these guys are so... They Especially came with the little stamps. Yeah, 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 for a little one who just wants lots of guys, it's really reasonably priced. I'll put a link to it, but... Okay, are we all here? Are you ready to open presents? Hi, cute people. Hi, cute people. He looks tired. He looks tired. Leo's so excited from his grandparents. He got this super nice camera. I took... I Wow, look at the, the zoom on that thing. That's amazing. What is that? It's a Lego guy that he's doing. <laughs> All right, Jeremiah, where are you going to start, buddy? store all your Legos in. Yeah. Whoa. Cool. Buddy boy. Cool. All right, well that fun is over and the kids are all off playing with all the new toys. Before I got started on the dishes and all that, I wanted to walk you outside and show you the amazing thing that I got yesterday. So my grandparents lived on a farm. It was the same farm that my grandpa was born and then um, later took on as an adult, of course. And they had horses. They actually had um, Clydesdale horses. They, um, he mostly um, planted crops. That was his primary thing. It wasn't like a big animal farm. But whenever I was very small, he sold off his dairy cows because he did used to have dairy cows and things, but I barely remember that because I was pretty small. Anyway, one of my best memories of going to my grandparents every Sunday was that um, my grandpa would get the horse out and he had buggies and he had this wagon and he would hook it up and take us for rides. And so my grandpa passed away um, last year. Anyway, the buggies and the the wagon that's my special memory have been at the farm and they're not getting used you know of course and I had really been hoping for one that that we could have here and yesterday when my father-in-law Jason's dad was coming over we talked to grandma and he was able to bring the wagon here I'm pretty excited let me show it to you 
This is the beauty right here. This is the one that is just such a memory for me. What do you think about this? Isn't it wonderful? Mm -hmm. Hey! Are you pretending to drive? Mm -hmm. So we would, they have this really cool trunk they sent too. Just a random trunk on the back. But my cousins and I and sisters, we would sit on the back and we'd jump on and off when grandpa was taking us for rides. This goes up here. Whoops, this is really hard to do one-handed. Let's see here. There we go. So that you can have people in there so they don't fall out. I'm just so excited. So Jason's clearing some space for us to put it. It has to be stored inside, of course, until that day when we get a horse, which is in our, in our future hopes. But so right here, we took this off just for safety, but this beautiful thing is the part that hitches to the horse and it's all, I don't know if you can see it very good, it's just one piece of wood, curved wood. One piece of wood that they carved into that. You're so much better at describing this stuff than me. They don't seem to mind my meager attempts, but. <laughs> anyway, we took it off yesterday just so that it would, could be put protected instead of keeping it linked on there. But yep, that's that, I'm super excited. She sent a couple other things along as well with this. We walk out to the barn. I actually haven't looked very much at them myself because yesterday was just crazy with having people, so I didn't get a chance to look well, so I'll walk out there with you. Okay, so these are some other just neat old pieces that they sent along that are so fun. We're gonna keep them in storage right now until our big house is built. Really old ice cream maker. This neat wooden ironing board and this beauty which is a fair in the family isn't that lovely so exciting to be able to preserve these things and make sure they get a good home it's really 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 cool Isn't that gorgeous? I am so excited. Oh. This also makes me excited about being able to start building our big house at some point, <laughs> whenever we get there. Just to be able to fill it with all these neat things. I'm right here, James. <laughs> He's calling Mama. She sent these sweet little cars too. How fun are these? These will be really sweet in the boys' room. They had a lot of fun already yesterday playing with them.